I love that you also talk about um, kind of the bro culture that exists in social media, always giving out advice. And up until really the last two years, never even had any women on mm -hmm. to talk about hormone health, um, mood, all of these things, but also was advising women what to eat based on what men were eating. Mm -hmm. I love that you tackle this as well, uh, which totally debunks everything we've been taught uh, about what to eat and how to eat. Yeah. So talk a little bit um, about what women at midlife, let's just say, and beyond should be eating. And I gather it's not salad. No, it's not. We want to fuel ourselves and not think about the old school idea of being dainty and not eating because that is the opposite of what we should be doing. So women hear that and they're like, I want to be thin. Yeah, I know. But if we eat more, especially protein, we can recomp our body and we get the aesthetics that people are after um, and can maintain a thin physique, but you're so much healthier. And we also look at circadian rhythm. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we have a different circadian rhythm length than men, and our hormones and the way that our body operates is different. So yes, we all have a cortisol peak that happens about a half an hour after we wake up. But for women, our um, active form of our hunger hormone is also elevated. And if we don't eat something to kind of drop that, then the body feels like it's in a, a threat state. Like mm -hmm. it's like, oh my gosh, I don't have any food coming, where's the bear? I gotta start fighting the bear. So cortisol stays elevated and we have a misstep in our appetite hormones. We see so many women that say, I'm not hungry when I first wake up. And that's more of a learned response. We can train our body to say, yep, I'm hungry, I wanna eat. And it doesn't have to be a lot, but we want to look at having some protein and fiber at every eating opportunity. So that's meal and or snack. Trying to get about 0.8 to one gram of protein per pound of body weight. And most women, especially as we're 50 and older, like, whoa, that's a lot of protein. Mm -hmm. But it's relatively easy for eating on a regular basis throughout the day to work with our circadian rhythm and we're eating to maintain fuel throughout the day. We can easily get 120 to 150 grams of protein where we're looking at sprouted grain toast and eggs for breakfast, or maybe it's a overnight oats with yogurt. And then lunch, we're having a palm-sized piece of, of um, protein, either fish or chicken or tempeh. Um, with some beans and some nuts and a salad. So you're eating fiber with the protein. And then for a snack, maybe you're having cheese and almonds. So you're having some kind of protein and fiber. And then by the end of the day, there's protein and some of the fiber that you're eating with our beans and our nuts and our seeds and some even green peas. Mm -hmm. And then the definitive proteins that we know. And by the end of the day, 120, 150 gram protein have been consumed. 